Hello everyone, welcome to Avdeet Academy. In this video, we will solve problem number 9 from section C, previous year cost accounting question paper 2024. From the following details, prepare store ledger of Gadar Company Limited using FIFO pricing method for material X. That is opening balance. 1000 units at rupees 10 per unit, purchases 400 units at rupees 11 per unit, issued 1400 units, purchased 600 units, issued 300 units, purchased 800 units at rupees 13 per unit, issued 800 units. And on physical verification, it was found that there is a shortage of 10 units on 21st January 2023. So all these entries we have to record in store ledger under FIFO method. 10 marks problem. Let's start the solution. Solution store ledger under FIFO method. Columns are date, receipts in that GR number, quantity, weight, amount, Issues, SR number, quantity, weight, amount. And balance, quantity, weight, amount. See the first transaction. On 1st January 2023, opening balance 1000 units at rupees 10 per unit. So this opening balance will record in balance column. Write date, 1st January 2023. Receipts column, nil. Issues column nil and in balance right quantity is 100 units, rate per unit is rupees 10, 1000 into 10, total amount is 10,000 and close this. Second transaction is on 6th January 2023, purchase 400 units at rupees 11 per unit. In store ledger, 6th January, purchase 400 units. So, write in receipts, GR number nil. How many units they have purchased? 400. So, quantity 400, rate per unit is 11, total amount 400 into 11, 4400. Multiply Marudu, 400 into 11. Issues column nil. So first here write the previous balance that is 1000 units at rupees 10 and total amount 10,000 okay. I missed this. So 1000 write the previous balance that is 1000 units at rupees 10 total amount 10,000 at the recent purchase that is 400 units at rupees 11 4400. And close this. Next on 8th January 2023 issued 1400 units. 8th January receipts column nil. So issue total how many units? 1400. So in balance column total how many units they have? 1000 plus 400 total 1400 so first we'll issue 1000 units the rate per unit is rupees 10 total amount is 10000 now take the remaining 400 400 units add rupees 11 and the total amount is 4400 so total we have issued 1400 units Balance column nil because in balance we had total 1400 units, so full quantity we have issued. So balance column is nil and close this. Next is on 15th January 2023, purchased 600 units at rupees 12 per unit. 15th January. 
receipts column right gr number nil total how many units they have purchased 600 600 quantity is 600 rate per unit is 12 600 into 12 total amount is 7200 and close this and issues column nil We have no other previous balance, so write the recent purchase that is 600 units at rupees 12 and the total amount is 7200. Next on 16th January 2023 issued 300 units. Write date column 16th January issued 300 units. So receipts column nil. In issues SR number nil. So total how many units we have to issue? 300. See the balance total we have 600 units. So from this 600 we will issue 300 units. Quantity column write 300. Rate per unit will take 12. Okay. 300 into 12. Total amount is 3600. Write the balance. So total num kade 600 units with to other in the now 300 units and now issue madi de. So remaining quantity is 300. Rate per unit will be the same that is 12. 300 into 12 total amount is 3600 and close this. Next on 20th January 2023. Purchased 800 units at rupees 13 per unit. Date 20 January. Purchased. So write in receipts. GR number nil. Purchased how many units? 800. So quantity 800. Rate per unit is 13. 800 into 13. Total amount is. 10,400 and issues column nil. First write the previous balance. Previous balance is 300 units at rupees 12 and total amount is 3,600. Now add the recent purchase that is 800 units rate per unit is 30 and total amount is 10,400. So before taking this 24th entry, see this para. On physical verification, it was found that there is a shortage of 10 units on 21st January 2023. So on 21st January, physical verification Madidaga, okay, personally stock and a check Madidaga, they found there is a shortage of 10 units. So 10 units. Kadim is it physically very in record and no other than compare madidre physically. There is a shortage of 10 units on 21st January. So this shortage of 10 units we have to show in issues column. Surplus idre excess idre other than now receipts tell show madvik. Okay. If there is a shortage of units, this we have to show in issues. If there is any excess units or surplus in quantity that should be shown in receipts column. So right here on 21st January receipts column nil and in issues column SR number they write shortage. Okay shortage of how many units? 10 units. Okay. See the balance. In balance we have two different units. That is 300 units at rupees 12 per unit and 800 units at rupees 13 per unit. So 10 units shortage again. Eh? So this 10 units we have to minus from this 300. Okay. This is FIFO method. So this 10 units we have to take from this 300. 
So write here shortage of quantity that is 10. Rate per unit take 12. 10 into 12, 120 rupees. Now write the balance from this 300 minus 10 units. So remaining quantity is 290. Rate will be the same that is 12. 290 into 12, 3480. And this 800 as it is, 800 units at rupees 12, at rupees 30, and the amount is 10,400. And the last entry on 24th January issued 800 units. Write in store ledger 24th January. Receipts column, nil. Issues column, right. So total how many units we have to issue? 800. See the balance. So here we have two different quantity. That is 290 units at rupees 12 and 800 units at rupees 30. So we are preparing store ledger under which method? P4 method. That is first thing, first up. First purchases we have to issue first. So first we'll issue this 290 units and remaining balance will take from 800. So 290 right here issues 290 rate per unit is 12 and total amount is 3480. So total we have to issue how many units? 800. From that just now we have issued 290 units. So remaining quantity is 510. So this 510 will take from this 800. So right here 510 rate per unit will take 13. 510 into 13 amount is 6630. So total we have issued 800 units. Now write the balance. This 290 units we have issued and from this 800 we have issued only 510 units only. Okay. From this 800 we have issued 510 units only. So the remaining quantity is 290 Rate per unit with the same 13, 290 into 13 amount is 3370. Now this from 800 minus 510 remaining is 290. 290 rate per unit 30 and total amount is 3370. This is the 10 marks question from section C, problem number 9. Thank you students.